136.3 proof. <laughs> it's official. Jack Daniels has added their single barrel barrel proof rye to its lineup. Uh, Jack Daniels, not that long ago, was pretty much defined only by their flagship old number seven Tennessee whiskey. But over the past several years, their lineup has expanded a lot with a, you know, a lot of interesting new releases. This rye happened to be a special release in 2020 that was universally praised and loved for good reason. Now that the Barrel Proof Rye has joined the permanent lineup, will they be as good as that special release? Today I have a bottle I was lucky enough to buy on my own and I have a media sample. How different can they be? Stay tuned, it's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023, Whiskey Tube family. Thanks for uh, joining in today. Let's be honest, Jack Daniels has just been killing it lately with the second launch of their 10 year Tennessee whiskey and the launch of their 12 year old Tennessee whiskey expressions. They released a single malt whiskey, a bottled and bond whiskey, the triple mash, and a bottle of drinkable gasoline named uh, Coy Hill. Well, let me get this uh, portable quick. These are some dark whiskeys. So when you actually go back in, uh, in a little bit of history, Jack Daniels kind of entrance into the rye whiskey game was kind of unconventional. The first rye whiskey that they ever introduced in the lineup was almost 10 years ago, but if you remember, it was the unaged rye. After that came the rested rye, then the single barrel rye, and finally the Tennessee rye back in 2018. Now this release makes the first time that Jack Daniels rye whiskey has been available in barrel proof form as part of the single barrel collection, which also includes the single barrel select, the single barrel barrel proof, and single barrel rye expressions. Mash bill of this rye whiskey is the same as always, 70% rye, 18% corn, and 12% malted barley. Proof of these single barrels will vary between 125 to 145 proof, depending on the barrel. And as always, the whiskey is charcoal mellowed before aging using the signature Lincoln County process. Now these are starting to hit stores everywhere now for a retail price of 60 bucks. All right, so let's try the bottle that I have uh, that I was able to get. I tried this for the first time on a live stream and I was not crazy about it. Uh, I was, yeah, wasn't feeling it. Now this is the media sample that they sent me, so we'll see which one is better. And uh, I think what, what I'm hoping here is to get a good indication of how much these single barrels will vary uh, once they start you know, getting on shelves across the country here. So let's see here. So on the nose, I mean, when I first tried this, it was pretty alcohol forward. I was getting a lot of ethanol coming out of here and I'm still kind of getting that. It's definitely opened up some, I think. It's a little bit sweeter. That Jack Daniels, that little bit of a banana note is there, but you definitely get a lot of spice here too from the rye. Jack Daniels has always made a sweeter type of rye profile. It's really nice. Definitely some brown sugars in here. Brown sugar, banana, almost like a bananas foster type thing going on but just with a lot more spice on it. This one is definitely more on the savory side though. It's not, if, if you go back to the, the release that was, that was universally praised in 2020, that one was like candy. This to me is more like a rye. This is coming off way more savory, uh, black tea, a little bit more of the black pepper, some baking spices there too, but it's extremely savory. A little bit of mint as well. All right, let me nose the media sample and see how different this is. Have not tried this one yet, so. Uh, the media sample, by the way, is 137.3 proof. So it's one full proof point higher than this bottle. And it's actually pretty, pretty similar. I think there's a little bit more of a brown sugar note going on on this one. Not as much banana, which I kind of dig. Oh yeah, this one is a lot. This one is a little bit more savory. Let's uh, check it out here. Here we go. Wow, man, that drink's hot. I'm gonna need to try that again. All right, so I'm still getting this bitter note that I was picking up the last time I tried it. Um, it has gotten a little sweeter, but there's a youthful bitter oak note that I'm getting on the back end of it, which is not great. I was hoping that would dissipate a little bit, uh, but yeah, it's just, it's not, not doing it for me. 
Yeah, I'm still getting it. It's like this bittersweet note. It's kind of killing the experience. You know, it's really great on the front of the palate, but man, it hits the back of the palate. I'm very sensitive to like bitterness and um, especially getting them in whiskeys. As soon as I taste it in a single barrel, I know immediately that I don't want it. <laughs> and um, this one is a little bit bitter and it's also drinking very hot. So let me go to the media sample and see if this one's any better. All right, let's try this one. All right, so here it is. So this, this is what I'm getting. This is exactly what I'm getting, guys. So you know, like on an orange peel, so I'm, I'm, the note is citrus that I'm getting. It's a, but it's an orange peel. The bottle has like a lot of that white and the pith and the, you know, that, that, uh, that inside white layer on it that, that has that bitterness to it. So it's kind of like the orange peel with a lot of that inside layer on it that I'm tasting. This on the other hand has way less of that white on the inside of the orange peel. And I'm just strictly getting orange peel. Um, it's slightly bitter, but it's a better, it's a better bitter. I'm not even going to try to attempt to say that. It's a better bitterness. <laughs> yeah, this one is sweet and orangey, a little bit of banana, brown sugar. This is very good. Now, did they handpick some media samples and send them to us? Most likely. So this just kind of goes to show you the differences between these single barrels and how how far off they can be. I mean, single barrels are like that inherently, but if you're expecting these to taste like the special release back in 2020, there might be some single barrels out there. Um, you might have to go through a lot of them to find one of those that tastes like that, but these two completely different single barrels aren't there. Let's go, to, let's do a quick final breakdown on this because I do want to make some points before we, uh, before we sign off today. Here we go. All right, final breakdown on the new Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof fry. So retail price on these is going to be 60 bucks. When it comes to secondary market or inflated market value, I'm already seeing these. When these when these first dropped for the first time, people were charging 250 to 300 for these. I think without folks knowing that this was going to be a regular release, we were just kind of waiting on Jack Daniels to announce it. Um, so I think the, the market has calmed down a little bit on these. So I, I'm still seeing these anywhere from 150 to 200 though. Availability is going to be good. I mean, it's Brown Foreman, it's Jack Daniels. Eventually these will be on shelves everywhere. Now they're going to sell fast very quickly in the beginning, but we'll have to see how that evolves over time. Value for this at $60, $60 for a high proof, barrel proof, single barrel rye whiskey from Jack Daniels for 60 bucks. I mean, let's face it, at $60, it's a high value. Uh, the most I'd pay. So given the differentiation in single barrels, and this is what I really wanted to uh, hammer home for you guys, um, don't overpay for these. At $60, I think they're fine right where they are. Some of these barrels could be a little bit bitter. There's just gonna be a lot of differentiation in it. So just like a single barrel should. Uh, so $60 would probably be the most I'd pay. Alternatives, I mean, there are so many rye whiskeys out there, especially even cast strength ryes nowadays. It's, you know, alternatives is kind of a tricky thing because there's no shortage of alternatives for this. It's gonna really come down to whether you like the Jack Daniels profile or not. As for recommend, I mean, this is a buy, guys. I mean, you guys know, you know, when, no matter what I say, people are gonna scoop these up. Um, I'm just, I just wanna reiterate that these do have a chance of being extremely different when it comes to single barrels. And I think some of them are gonna be not so great and some of them are gonna be great. It's just gonna be kind of a crapshoot as to which barrel you get. This is a very clear you know, example of what that looks like. The bottle that I got, not so great. Hoping it opens up a little bit more, a little bit more bitter on it, a little bit more spice, which is fine but also drinks very hot. The media sample that was sent, this barrel is a little bit nicer, it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit more balanced. So it's really gonna depend on those barrels, but it's really great to see this come to market for $60. Do not overpay for this, guys. Eventually, these are gonna be all over the country once the hype slows down, once they start sitting on shelves. So you don't have to pay 200 to 250 to get one of these. Just wait it out, have a little patience if you can. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review for the brand new Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye that is now gonna be nationwide, uh, have some nationwide availability. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. So if you've already gotten lucky enough to try one of these and, and grab a bottle, let me know down in the comments. Why don't you write out the single barrel? Maybe, 
maybe a lot of us that are watching, maybe we can kind of hunt that barrel down if it's a really good barrel. Uh, always love talking to you guys. And with that said, as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So I'm gonna blend the two, cause why not? I'm gonna make a crazy rye blend. Two barrels, gonna make my own small batch. <laughs> Cheers guys. That is actually pretty damn good. Cheers.